All right, so today's video is gonna be all about building the Mile Train series of freight wagons. Uh, we have the tanker wagon, the hopper wagon, and the open freight wagon. So I have done a little bit of part swapping for newer molds or colors. The one that's jumping out at me now is these are dark bluish gray rather than dark gray. And it's just a, a little easier to find those parts uh, <laughs> nowadays. So I really don't stress trying to get the original colors. But all in all, it was uh, a lot, these are a lot closer to the originals than my My Own Train locomotives, which I have a similar video for building those in the modern day. Uh, so let's look at these each individually. We will look at Studio for a little bit, and I do have IO files for all these if you want to create a wanted list. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first let's take a look at the tanker wagon. Um, for the base of this, um, I'm here I'm actually using a newer version of the train base. Um, I know there's at least three different versions of this, but it has the two by two cutout instead of the one by two cutout. Uh, so this was from the power functions era and only have a, a one by two cutout if it's from the nine volt era um, for locomotives if you're using nine volt motors you probably want the one with the single cutout uh, because all this is smooth um, for these it doesn't really matter you can use any of the three really um, train bases uh, i'm using the yellow bogey plate since it is much cheaper and easier to find nowadays and then of course i've got a, a modern sealed magnet coupler and then each of these is just built up from these quarter panels of course it, it's going to roll away <laughs> um, so I found a, a store I, I, I can probably go ahead and link them in the description um, they have the quarter panels as well as the 8 by 8 dish pieces um, all in new condition and fair prices um, I had to look around quite a bit and then it went before I found this store and I think they look good they almost have a little bit of a yellowish tint but I think that that's just Lego um, <laughs> out of any of the colors white seems to have a, a pretty strong variation over the years um, especially like the modern pieces the ones I'm seeing in pick-a-brick walls and things like that they're they come pre-yellowed almost <laughs> it's almost more of a cream color uh, but, the, but these look fine so that's why I went with um, inside of here uh, let's let's see if I can um, it's just a stack of uh, bricks and you can use whatever you want. So I use this color two by four in the bottom because it's, I'm probably not gonna use it anywhere else. Um, and then further down, I don't know if you can see it's all, it's just a stack of two by two blue bricks. And that's because they were in uh, on the picket brick wall and I, I got a, a bunch of them. So just, you can use whatever you want inside uh, and you're really not gonna be able to tell from the outside. And then you're gonna need these um, rounded uh, quarter plate bricks or plates uh, to finish it off red on one side green on the other and this is exactly identical to what will be on the other side um, and then again all these pieces were originally dark gray and i went with dark bluish gray just to save on costs and make it easier to find them and make sure the pieces are in good condition and not a wide variety of different shades <laughs> of color um, from varying age and things like that uh, these are pretty heavy on the ladder pieces, um, so it's three on each side. Um, it goes all the way up. So if you plan on making multiples of, of this, you're going to need a lot of those ladder pieces. Um, but that's pretty much the the build of it. It's really not that many pieces. I, I want to say it's about 170, 180 pieces total. So fairly easy to part together. Again, it's going to be these quarter panels and eight by eight dish. That's going to be where the, the majority of the cost comes in. And then we have these sections along the side here and you've kind of you've got several options there um, i wasn't really concerned with getting it exactly like the original set um, this is not from the original set it was actually if i'm not mistaken a one by six uh tile on one side with a sticker and then a one by four and one by two printed tile i'm pretty sure they were you can actually order replacement sticker sets from brick sticker shop um, I didn't go that route because they're kind of expensive. Um, it's it's odd how much the price varies there. Um, I'll show you, I picked these up recently. This is actually for an older set. This is a 4537 Octane Twin Tank Rail Tanker. <laughs> um, 
but these stickers didn't really line up how I wanted them to uh, to use anywhere on here. Um, this is actually a printed tile from back in the day, and I found a BrickLink seller that had a great price on these. They were in good condition. Um, I want to say I bought like 17 of those or something. <laughs> um, pretty much bought all they had. Um, this is a two by one tile. It's an older print, but it checks out. Um, but, so this one's a little bit harder to find. So I think I do plan on making more of these uh, and I may find something different to use in place of this one by two print and tile because those are a little bit pricey if you're needing a bunch of them. <laughs> um, and it's going to be identical on the other side. So this is what I've done here. In place of a one by two tile, I've just used a red and green translucent um, studs. Uh, I don't know if I like that or not. Um, the red and green does go with the with the color <laughs> scheme. Um, again, the one by four printed tile. And then this is actually a sticker. And this is from uh, the eBay seller Brick Visions. Um, I really like this sticker sheet. It's um, very similar in price to the Brick Sticker Shop replacement that, that goes to this set in price. But you get a lot more for your money. Um, if I wanted to, I could use these uh, like one of... The, one of these on, on each side, maybe on one of these quarter panels. Um, I generally use stickers sparingly because it's generally not very um, good to reuse them. <laughs> you know, once you've taken them off, they're, they're kind of done for, and then you've got like sticky residue on the piece. So um, that's why I didn't jump on it immediately to, st to start using some of these other pieces here or stickers. And then, you know, you could use these uh, in place of the one by four. Um, you've got a lot of options, but I, I, I think I like it kind of clean like that. Um, so let's go ahead. So this uh, sticker sheet comes with two of these uh, diesel power stickers. And it pretty much lines up perfectly with a 1x6. Oh, easy there. Let me, let me get it from the top. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> I, I think I like that, but again, uh, probably have to do something different with this uh, 1x2 tile. So I'd be curious what other people would do if they were building these and wanted and didn't want to use the original printed tiles and sticker. If they, if they did something different, I'd, I'd like to see what you come up with. So you can hit me up on Instagram or join the Discord. You know, we're always kind of sharing this kind of stuff back and forth. Um, all of that is linked in, in the description of every video. So I think that's it for the tanker car. Again, um, I will have links to this is the Brick Visions eBay sticker sheet. Uh, this one, as well as the original that went with this set from Brick Sticker Shop. Um, of course, none of this is sponsored in any way, uh, but, I, but I will leave those links in the description for you guys. All right, so let's look at the open freight wagon. Um, and it came with logs. You could put other things inside of here if you really wanted to. Um, these are reddish brown two by two round bricks. Um, I just thought it'd be easier to get quantity of these than it would be the original brown. And I just did a straight stack. I believe it's 13. Yes, 13 round bricks. And then um, there's three logs and they, they stay in here pretty well with the chains. I think that works pretty good. Um, Again, you could do something similar to what I did with these. Um, this was basically a mock, just very simple, but um, I actually found the uh, two by two printed bricks to go on either side. And then uh, they're joined in the middle by an axle running through these. Um, and again, I, I really wanted them to, to be sturdy and stay inside. These actually are absolutely perfect to fit inside there. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad to see Lego actually um, kind of took that into account and the logs don't really slide all over the place. Uh, you've got these kind of handrail pieces in, on each end that keep them in place. So I think Lego did a good job with that. Some of the later, um, the, like the, the log car that I kind of based this off of, or was the inspiration, the logs just fly all over the place. It, <laughs> they did not, uh, nail that one. <laughs> Again, as part of, as far as part variations, um, I went with dark bluish gray for the these end pieces here. Um, we've got yellow bogey plates, just like before. Um, this is the newer train base, just like the other cars. And then uh, here is a one by two tile. And it was originally, I believe it was a printed piece. I don't believe it was a sticker. 
I've generally just been just been putting a blank tile on these. It doesn't bug me too much. I think this adds a bit of texture, uh, but doesn't break the bank trying to find uh, stickers or printed pieces. I could put something there if I found something that worked well. Um, these uh, one by two bricks with the clip, um, those were a bit of a hassle to find. I had to kind of go to a store directly that had 10 of these. Um, they had some other useful parts. Uh, but that was one of the harder pieces to find. And you can kind of tell by the age of them, they don't exactly match the color of the other blue bricks in here. That seems to be fairly common for some of these modified bricks they haven't really made in a while, uh, but it's not too bad. And I don't think there's, I think there isn't really a way to build this with, uh, you know, stacking plates cause you gotta get the clip right in the middle, but you could, you could, you know, it's Lego. You can do whatever you want. You could have a, a Technic axle going up here and just secure it somehow down here. There's just a million ways to do it. Uh, I'm not, these, these don't clip very well. Um, they just, they just kind of fall off very easy. This is the newer version. This is a six length bar, um, or umbrella stand. I think something like that is what it's listed as. Uh, the older version is a six and a half length bar. And again, this flange is in a little bit different of, of a position. So I actually haven't tried this already. Let's see how that works. That, that seems a little bit more sturdy, actually. I wonder if it would be better there. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can, I mean, they look the same in diameter. Um, but again, these are a little more expensive to find, especially in quantity like this. So we can, I don't know. I'm not sure which one I like better, but, uh, these are cheaper. So I guess I like those better. <laughs> um, out of all of them, I think this is my least favorite freight wagon out of all these. Um, again, you've got, uh, the one by four by three plate, uh, panels on the end. It doesn't really matter. This is actually the newer version with, with side support. I don't know if you can see that little line there, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the build if you use the newer or older part. Uh, I think that's all I have to say about this. Um, you know, the chains and the railings, those are light bluish gray. So those were easier to find. See, I almost knocked this off. <laughs> I don't, I don't like how fragile that is. Um, maybe I can come up with something. I'm not really sure. Okay. So now we have the hopper wagon and initially I kind of like this one, the best out of all of them. Um, so I actually built three. <laughs> um, so we've got kind of the ladder pieces on the end here. We've got a, a clip for storing tools. So we've got a tool on each end. We've got a broom and a shovel. Um, I'm just noticing how off color this piece is. Wow. That is way off. I, I had them set aside to bring down here, but I guess I forgot. There is a one by two by two high brick and I bought them in tan to actually replace these all the way around on the ends. Wow. This ladder piece is not one to stay in there. But um, these weren't very expensive to part together. Um, it's a lot of tan, which seems to be a fairly cheap color a lot of times. Um, yeah, so this is actually the 9 volt version of the train base. So you can see, like, it doesn't really make a difference which one you use for any of these. Um, I've kind of built up a supply of both versions, so I, I just kind of grab whatever's <laughs> readily, readily available. Um, so, yeah, we've got the hopper section up here. And you can originally, I believe it came with one by one round bricks as the media that would be stored in these. Um, and then you have these Technic pieces here that allows you to dump them out. So I've tried a couple different things here. Okay. So this one is filled with one by one light bluish gray round bricks. And that's just because that's what I had on hand. I think that's from that three in one castle <laughs> set. I didn't have enough of a, of a darker color to, to fill this. And it, it takes a lot to fill it. Um, I want to say this is 30 or 40 pieces and, uh, you know, it barely fills. You can't even see it over the lip <laughs> of the side. Um, let's see how well it, uh, the dumping feature works. So we just open that up and it'll spill a few out. Um, you know, we've still got a fair bit in there, uh, but then you can do the other side. Um, so just with one dump on each side, um, you know, we've still got a fair bit in there, but I believe, I think if we open up again, they would dump more out. 
Uh, let's dump these back in and I'll show you another option. So these are one by one black cheese slopes. And why did I choose that? It's because I have a surplus of them. <laughs> I didn't mean to get this many. This is uh, at least three pick a brick cups full of them. And then um, I probably got a few more here and there before that. Uh, I was kind of planning on using these with uh, like Technic construction vehicles, being able to dig through and things like that. Uh, but got sidetracked or derailed, uh, I guess, into trains. <laughs> but that's what that's what these are for. Speaking of bags of, uh, yeah, I've got a lot more log pieces here. So I, I'd like to build a little sawmill mock or something um, and, you know, have some logs. I'd, I'd really like to do more of that kind of stuff because it's not something I've really done before. So let's see how these work. Well, not as well. <laughs> um, I guess you kind of have to work it a little bit. Um, you can see it's still a fair bit in there. Um, now it's going. <laughs> well, that didn't work well. So yeah, kind of got to work it a little bit. <laughs> So really, I, I, I do think the uh, these round bricks do work better uh, if that's an important play feature to you. Um, again, it doesn't even have to be a play feature. It can just be having something in there. You could even brick build inside of here with uh, maybe one by one round plates and, and uh, things like that to get some kind of texture going through. And then you don't have to worry about it spilling out because um, this is kind of a liability <laughs> to have on your Lego railroad uh, and risk spilling these pieces all over the place. So you may have noticed I haven't included the caboose in this video. I, I guess I'm not a fan of it. I, it's something about the windows, something doesn't look right to me. Um, so I, I didn't look into parting it out uh, for the series of videos. So from here, uh, we're going to jump into BrickLink Studio for just, I just have a few things to show this time. Not nearly as much as the My Own Train Locomotive video, but if you want some tips on using BrickLink Studio, um, that section of the video was pretty substantial in the last video. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, so we're here in BrickLink Studio. I've built a model of all three of the freight wagons that we've been talking about in this video. And I, I found I actually really enjoy building these. <laughs> Um, a shortcut that was that was brought to my attention from a viewer, uh, I'm not sure how to say that username, but uh, I do appreciate it. If you go to, you know, you've got your parts categories here. If you go to config, um, I've already done a couple here, but let's, let's do another one. Import from an official Lego set. Um, is it 15? Yeah, that would be a passenger wagon. Uh, we can click import. And it'll also show us where we can find the instructions on brick set. And then it should list all the pieces here that are necessary to build the set. Um, I didn't know about that and that's very useful. Um, the one, I'm not sure about some of these older sets. Like if we go to the tanker, which I've done already, um, I'm not seeing the panel pieces well, now they are. They weren't showing up earlier. I don't know what I did wrong there. Um, I have footage of it. Um, I was scrolling through and it just wasn't showing up. <laughs> oh, it's calling me a liar. Okay, so if you want to build things digitally, that's a great way to do it. Um, to go ahead and pull up all the parts. You don't have to individually search for all these. I was going to BrickLink and searching for part numbers. <laughs> uh, and it did take a bit, of, a bit of time. But there's a reason I like to do this. Um, and while we're on the hopper wagon, this, this is a, this is a great one to show you. Um, so I like to put colors that I might change in these steps. So step two is all the tan pieces. We'll click on the top piece, scroll down, click on the bottom piece while holding shift. And then I'll select all of them. Uh, let's try, let's try white, um, and see how that looks. That looks, that looks pretty, pretty good actually. Um, I do believe there was a white hopper wagon at some point. Um, and now we have step three is all the blue bricks. 
Uh, so we'll select all of them and we could change this to say red. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool too. And you could even do, you could have a red and yellow and blue and green uh, stripe if you wanted to, to, to have different ones. So that's what I really like about Bricklink Studio. And again, we could, we could go in and, um, and do a render of these and, and see how they look and just try different things. Um, I did, I tried a couple different things in, in studio. These are the official, these are printed tiles. So these are going to be in the parts list on studio. Uh, this one by six tile is a stickered piece. Um, some stickers are, are in studio. Some most aren't, I, I would say. Um, so we didn't have that option there, but again, uh, let's see. Opt-in. This is the one by four tile that I used in place of this piece. This piece just doesn't really, I don't know if it really fits. Uh, a control panel fits, I, I suppose. Uh, of course, this is, uh, you know, I'm used to seeing this in space sets. <laughs> but, you know, you can just mock things up and try different things and see what you like. And it just kind of speeds up, speeds up the process. And one of the main reasons I actually go through the trouble of doing all this is to get parts lists. Um, so there's our parts list for the tanker wagon. This is this price is a very rough estimate, but it can help you find anomalies in the pieces if a price is very high. Uh, when I did the locomotive video, apparently the one by one modified bricks with the bar on the side, if they're in dark bluish gray, they're like eight dollars a piece. <laughs> so uh, it must be a Star Wars part. So that's why I didn't get those, but it'll help you find those kind of things before you finalize and put into a wanted list. And remember, you can always just select the entire model, hit control C, control V, and now you've got two. And if you go to model info, it'll be updated uh, and all of the quantity of the pieces will be set for uh, whatever quantity you have here. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, this is the file, my own train cars I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and I just copied and pasted. Um, I ended up building three of the hopper wagons, one of each of the open freight and tanker wagon. Uh, these are the chains for the open freight. I didn't put the logs here. Um, it's, it's 39, um, round two by two bricks. Uh, I went with reddish Brown. You could use Brown, but that's easy enough to, to add to a one of the list later. So I think that's it for Bricklink studio. I, I find it enjoyable. I like building these, trying different things. Um, I, I do kind of, I almost would go back and, and maybe try some different colors with this, which I could. I mean, these aren't super expensive. Um, if I were to build this, it'd be 45, but again, you know, $15 of that is the <laughs> train wheels. Um, I can usually find these for about two bucks each. Um, it just depends. Again, all these prices are for new parts. Um, and again, all the IO files for, for these models will be linked in the description. Uh, so let's go back to the workshop and get to the conclusion. All right. Well, I guess that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe learned something or maybe got some ideas to do something on your own. Uh, again, I like to see what you guys are up to. So you can join the discord link in the description, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you find most convenient. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.